Hello, it's Tina. I am using a microphone. Hopefully you guys can hear me better. I'm opening the second jar, the one I have for $9.99. I'm outside. My power went off inside, so. <laughs> I'm laying there watching TV and the power goes off. I'm like, okay, I can't watch TV, so let's go open a jar. I said that to Missy. Mitzi, Missy, I call them both. I'm getting the tape, sorry. Taking too long. Okay. Aw. Some of the color came off of the tape. I hate that when the tape rips color off of things. It's off of this pretty purple piece. At least I see purple on the tape. pile of stuff tangled up here okay this is a this plastic beads I think yeah very pretty though it's tangled up I'm trying to untangle it real quick it's got a knot well I'll <laughs> untangle it later there's three rows of beads one of them is missing some of the coating, but I don't think it's going to matter because these are all different. This has little seed beads at the top, three strands, and then they go into three strands of these. These are really pretty beads. I got the faceted one. It's flat and faceted. Very pretty. Fuchsia. I don't know where to put the jewelry. I guess anywhere off camera. Okay. This one looks like a multi strand. Oops. Has a tag. Does anybody recognize this tag? I don't. It's like a little creature. Like an alien or something. Oh, it's tangled up. But once it's untangled, it looks like it has some rhinestones on it. And this probably has to be fixed too. They cage this into chain. This side looks good. That's a beautiful crystal. That's glass. Heavy. And it has black chain, silver chain, and some rhinestone. Very pretty. That's nice. If you guys know that symbol, I'd appreciate a comment. I'll do some research, but it's hard to look up symbols. This is just a crucifix on, I'm guessing this is, this is a rosary with the knots instead of beads. I've never seen one like that, but it's kind of cool. Using knots instead of beads. This, I'm not sure what this is. It's just hanging on there. It's a broken bracelet. Has an elephant. I think it's an elephant. Yeah. He's kind of uh, squared off on top. He looks like a skeleton of an elephant. Kind of weird. <laughs> Creepy. Looks like I have a few multi strands in this jar. Oh, this has got that clear wire stuff. Illusion wire. It's stuck. On this chain. It's also broke, so I gotta hopefully not drop any more beads. They're pretty beads, but it's got a broken strand here, so I'm guessing it's a broken piece. There's a tassel, a knot. These are like hematite beads. Very pretty beads. Put it by itself, so 
I didn't break it. it came broken. This one is multi-strand. I try to find the clasp here. Here we go. Shake it. Come on, come on. <laughs> it's not coming out either. It's got rhinestones and black chain, silver chain, and a knot. As you guys can see. Oh, it looks like the some of the chain, or maybe not. I was gonna say it's hanging on another chain, like a, a web formation, but no. Yeah, this isn't coming out. But it doesn't look broken, so that's good. It's very heavy. Let's see if it has a tag on it. No, no tag. There's a Six strands of chain and one of rhinestone. It's heavy. We have a... What's that called? Choker. Choker. It's kind of a nice piece of lace. It's thicker. It's like... A, well, it's not really lace. It's like it's been crocheted. There's an interesting looking earring. Oh, I had an earring like this, didn't I? No, no. I like that top part. Well, actually, I like both charms. This looks like an upside down heart. This looks like ethnic or something. I've never seen an earring like that, though. It's cool. There's a necklace here. Oh, Worldwide, uh... Federation of Wildlife or something. The panda symbol. I used to get their stickers in the mail. I like pandas. Pandas are cute. Here is a seashell necklace. Oh, it's hanging on another necklace. I thought that was all one necklace. But nope, here is a... How does it go? Here's... Okay, it's double. It's got the half of a cowrie shell. They're not real, apparently. And then it has a shell shell hanging on another chain. No signature. I really hope this microphone's helping you guys hear me. I like this, though. This could be turned into a bracelet, this part. Because it's just about big enough, looks like. The other necklace that was hooked to it is a butterfly. Butterfly necklace. It's very pretty. No name. No signature. It's in good shape. Very good condition on that one. Is this an earring? I think it could have been an earring, or it probably just hangs up in your window or something. I like the pink, pink, and it's not missing any stones. No signature. What do you guys think? Cute? Not cute. I wish they had a pink stone in the center, though. I think that would look a lot better. But that would look cute just hanging outside, catching the sunlight. Here's two stretch bracelets. One of them has a, what is that? A feather? A feather. Looks like it's been wire wrapped, but it's not. It's all part of the piece. Plastic beads. Oh, here's a brooch. Let's see if it has a name. No name. It's got some wear, to, or some, I think it's just dirty. And it looks like something was in the center of the heart. But yeah, I think that's just dirt. Crusty dirt. Yeah. Yeah, it's like mold or something. <laughs> Keep that away from everything else. <coughs> oh, wow. Look at this one. Never had one like that. I mean, I've had the 
big chain, which is plastic. Yeah, I think it's plastic. And then I've had the little beads, but I've never had them combined into one necklace. That is pretty. That is very pretty. Let's see if it has a signature on it. No signature, but it's got really nice caps to it, too. This is a very pretty necklace. Has anybody seen one like this before? It's an idea to do with those big chains, though. Yeah, it's plastic. Too bad it's not metal. <laughs> it's still pretty, though. It's plastic or not. Let's see. Here's a chain. Oh, it's a bracelet. Rhinestones. Are they all there? Yes. Has a lobster clasp. I like this. I like this one a lot. It's a good size to fit on your wrist, and it's all there. Yeah, it's very pretty. <laughs> heavy. Very heavy, too. Oh, here's a stretchy bracelet. Kind of psychedelic. It's cool. It's different. Oh, I thought that was a signature. <laughs> it's the string they used. It's cute. It's metal. These are metal, but there's, you know, it looks like it's got a sticker on it or something. Washi tape. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Oh, these are pretty beads. They're kind of like a yellow pearl. Are they set on there or fused, I mean? Yeah, they're fused beads. Need to be cleaned. Very yucky. Vintage by the look of the clasp. Probably about 16, 17 inches maybe. But they're very pretty. They got good luster on them. They just need to be cleaned up. Here's a leather braid bracelet. How does this go? Hmm. Huh. I don't know. How does this... <laughs> uh, I'm a doofus. I have no idea how this goes on. Oh, there. It happened on accident. <laughs> there we go. That's how it goes. It's nice. It's real leather. Nice little clasp there. This one is long leather. I don't know if this is all one necklace or three. I think it's more than one. So let me try to get the maroon one out. It's hard to do in front of the camera. It's all tied up together. Sorry, you guys. This one is just a long... Leather strip with two dangles on the end, so it's super long. It's like one of those tie things, I'm guessing, that you put on. And somebody just tied these pretty little charms at the end. It's super long, like 50, 60 inches maybe of leather. And the black one actually has chain a closure on it. Oh, it's broke. broken. Here's part of the clasp. The other part's over here. Oh, it's Charming Charlie. But it's broken off and then this piece came off too. This is the main part, I think. Or this is just a, like a bolo tie type thing by itself. And this is just broken. I'm not sure. It's up to you, I guess. Here's a spike leather bracelet. That's a weapon, huh? I don't think that would feel good if somebody got hit with that. 
need some cleaning, but it's a good condition besides that. Oh wow, look at this pendant. This is gorgeous. Looks like a piece of ice melting on there. Somebody's name is back there. Oh, they didn't put it on very good. But I love this. I love the colors. It's got texture. This is all rough down here, and it gets lighter, you know, softer, smoother up here. And then you got that big piece of melting ice. <laughs> That's pretty. <laughs> this is another scarf clip. I've had these before. Or it's an old belt buckle. I'm not sure, but close in A, you can feel the gold part. It's raised. It's a pretty one. Oh, I don't know what these are. Look like they could be earrings. It looks like an owl to me. Does it look like an owl? But there's nothing... No earring backs or anything. But these would make cute earrings, I think. Could just pop a hole there or just hang chain right there and then hook an earring wire on it. It's different. I don't know what else they'd be used for besides earrings. Here's a pair of hoops. Oh, I don't know which one to go with which. There's three of them here. I thought they were a pair. Ew, that one's got that green stuff on it too. So none of, they don't match size-wise, but the colors are off. So I'll put up those over there. Here's a rhinestone something. It has three pieces. They all have this hoop on it. I don't know. How it would go. Maybe it's a necklace that goes this way. And that just hangs. And then used to have something dangling on it or something. I have no idea. You guys have any ideas? <laughs> it's a mystery. Oh, here's a hair comb. Pretty. With the beads. Or pearls, I should say. But there's a chain tangled up in it real quick. Let me see if I can get it. It's a very fine chain. Ah. Can't get it right now. See the chain? It's kind of dangled in there. Tangled in there. That is a pretty hit, uh, comb. This looks like the pendant on the chain. Just a heart. No name. No signature anyway. It looks finer than that. Yeah, the chain is fine. See, look. It's just, it's got a really big attachment chain. But I like the hair comb a lot. It's very pretty. Put that over here. Untangle that later. Oops. We have a, oh, one of those eyeglass wires. Well, chain. Never seen a chain used. But these come off. You can take these off and turn it into a necklace. Because they got the hoops there. It's a nice looking chain. And I need chains for pendants I get in the jars and stuff. So I might just do that. Because it's in really good condition. The chain is. And it's a nice size for holding eyeglasses. Here are some fused beads. Really pretty color. These will look good on a miniature Christmas tree. There's a lot of them there. It's a nice peach, or pink. Pinkish peach. This necklace was there. It's got a cross, hands, a dove flying down to earth. It's in really bad shape, or hopefully that's just dirty. But it looks like more than just dirty. Looks like somebody loved it a lot and wore it a lot. But I'll clean it and see what happens. See if it comes clean or not. So 
my black leather sneak back on the camera. <laughs> oh, these are pretty. Oh, I love this. You know, I love clear beads. Look at that. Stretch bracelet. I will most likely keep this one. I love that kind of stuff. Earrings, necklaces, anything with clear beads in it. It's pretty. Oh, it's really neat to look at. There's three. There are three of them hooked together. No, the lights doing that. That's what they look like. And then they're all strung together on here. Very pretty. Here's another hoop to go with that pile of hoops. Here's a, looks like a cellulite earring, celluloid or lucite barrel earring. That's so bright right there. Bring that out, put the purse there. Clip on, click, click, click on. Here's a, oh wow, that's pretty. What is that? These are crystals. Glass, or crystal, not glass. I'm pretty sure this hangs up outside. Wow, look at the sparkle that would bring. These are gorgeous beads. I love it. I wanted a uh, rainbow necklace or bracelet you know where they use those rainbow crystals like that i wanted one of those this one is a chain and a leather strap on this cowhide i don't get the cowhide i don't like it but i guess people do or they wouldn't make it soft <laughs> It's missing a couple stones. What's the other side look like? Oh, it's a flower. There's no signature that I could see. Yep, no nope. chain and a... I mean, it's not bad looking if the rhinestones were there. It's very heavy. Like, super heavy. Oh, is this an earring? Oh, yeah. I thought this was a necklace. Here is an earring. Metal. Kind of bent, I think. Oh, it's wait backwards. There we go. Or not. This side it bows better that way, so this needs to be fixed a little bit, I think. And we have this very fine chain with a sliding gold bar on it. This bar goes sliding up and down the chain. Let me see if I can show you. See it? Slide. No signature. Nope. Check the bar for a signature. No. It's cute though. It's like a rose gold to me. Oh, it's a brooch. That's cool. And uh, no name that I can see. It's an angel with the. Uh, I guess you can hang a scarf from that or your glasses. See it's a brooch. Take your glasses off and hang them on your on here while you're not wearing them. I have to wear mine all the time, but some people don't. That's cute. Never had one of those. Oh, here's a pair of earrings. These are really heavy too. It's like got like a texture of concrete. Look how thick they are. Very heavy. No signature. Oh, wow. Here's a pretty necklace. If I can get it out, I don't know if it's hooked on anything. It's got wood beads. It's got a rope. And a giant shell. It's got a really beautiful shell. The wood beads here. And it's got this really pretty satin braided rope. Oh, and it's got a barrel clasp. Very nice. Well, kind of, yeah, it's a barrel clasp. It's stuck. Oh, there it goes. I like this. It's very pretty. It's not too long, but it's not short either. These are very 
very pretty beads too. That's a nice one. No signature on anything, man. I like that one. That was a really nice one. Oh, here's a bunch of seed beads. I'm not sure if it's broken. I'm worried about pulling it out of the jar since that other one was broke. Where's the clasp at? Let me see if I can find a clasp on here. These are heavy. They got some big glass beads on here. Well, I think this would be considered the clasp area. It's got a row of, uh, these are glass beads. Big, big glass beads, small seed beads. All intermixed. It's very pretty. And the clear ones have Aurora Borealis wash to them. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I like this. It's about 20 inches. 20 inches long. Very thick. Very heavy. I guess you could wear this as the bottom part. But I think this would go with your, in the back of your neck. That's what I think. Yeah, I like that. It's very nice. Need some untangling, but I like the colors from the Aurora Borealis part. Here's some dyed shell on chain. Multi chain. With some silver beads, too. Very pretty. Look at that. Green and blue dyed shell. Oh, this one's so thin you can see the metal that they used to. See it? Broke through. This is nice. There's no signature. Bummer. But it kind of looks like a Charming Charlie design, doesn't it? Some nice necklaces in here. Really nice. Here's another multi bead, multi chain, I guess. See if it looks on it kind of short. That maybe not. Nope. Okay, it's okay. No signature. It's got chain there, and then uh, goes up. These are glass beads or plastic, plastic, but they're beautiful. Look at the colors. It's got different colors on the beads. Got some bonus hair there. <laughs> Somewhere. It's also gray hair. It's not mine. I got gray hair, but see, these are all chains all bunched together. It's a pretty necklace, though. Heavy, very heavy. We're at 28 minutes, so and I'm almost at half of the jars. Oh, this is pretty too. Look at that color. The seafoam green and the gold look good together. This is a hollow chain people turned into chain links and hooked it all together and hung it on this chain. That is a good idea. It's very pretty. I'd wear it. It'd be nice to have earrings to match, you know. Maybe the seafoam green or even just the gold circle on a earring wire. Here's a cuff. That's pretty. I like this one. It's kind of got like a leather inside that's been uh, hooked on. Yeah, it's leather. You can see it. Leather put inside of a metal, beautiful metal bracelet. This is gorgeous. I wish I had a name on it though. I like the way it fits too. I can't see it. There we go. It's nice. I like the rivets. Rivets, yeah, that's what they're called, I think. I see bonus hair there. A couple more pieces and then I'll turn it off and start another video. This is fused beads. Just a strand of purple and they have like an iridescence to them. Small little necklace. This is probably going to my kid's lot. Oh, here's the other metal earring of that one. So I got a pair. Those could be sterling. 
They had the look of sterling, but I'm not sure. Now, this looks like something came off of here. It looks like part of it's still there, actually. Like glass or something stuck there. But that's a cool looking. Uh, I don't know what you'd call that. Piece. <laughs> yeah, that's going to go on crafting then. Yeah, it was glass or something fused on there. Okay, we're at 30 minutes, and I have half a jar left, so let me do one more. This is a, um, a pin. Oh, Disney. So this must be from Mary Poppins movie, maybe? Because it looks like a woman with a kite. I would use an umbrella, but I don't know what the movie looks like, the new one. But okay, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll, I'm going to start out here again, right here, because I'm pretty sure the power's still off. I didn't hear my phone click on, which is in my pocket. And thank you, and there's not that much left, so thank you so much. Bye-bye.